I felt quite nervous at first, but when I settled in, I was absolutely fine. I felt nervous at the start, but as the weeks progressed, it got a, it got a lot easier. I was quite nervous because I didn't know what I was getting into, and I was scared I was going to get lost. I, it was fine for me starting in McLean Academy because my brother had said that the school was good and that everyone was nice here. I was nervous and excited at the same time because you're nervous about meeting new people um, but you're excited to meet loads of new people and to see the different classes. I realised that it was silly being nervous because I got showed around by the sixth year buddies and I didn't get lost. Quite exciting um, to go and see all the different classes. It was relatively easy to get to know the school and to get to know your classes and where everything is. Just in general, the school is just a nice place to settle in. It's good because there's like a wider option than primary school and it's just better. The food's great, the food's really good. There's like different things on it, lunch, there's hot meals like pasta, beans and toast. Uh, the food in Bird Academy is much better than primary. I like the pizzinis and the steak pie and they always get like good desserts and stuff as well. Well, I'm in Clyde Academy, it's quite simple to get around since there's three wings and just the hub. Once you're, once you're getting used to your classes, you'll, you'll find it quite easy. You should be nervous to just pop in and say, Hi miss, I'm lost. Do you get the sixth year buddies to show you around? If you are lost, you can always just ask a teacher. And they'll direct you to your classroom. I go to football on a Tuesday and Thursday and I play a game on Saturdays. There's a guitar club during lunchtime. Personally, I've been to such things as the tech club and badminton club. It's really fun. Lego club, computing club, keyboard club. I used to go to a fitness suite quite a lot uh, when I was on. You can like go on the treadmills and the boxing and stuff. P, you can do basketball, there's dance, there's um, badminton. Or you can go to your guidance teacher, uh, he'll make you feel quite good about yourself. Well, the pupil support will help you. They know everything about the school. They know everything about each and every single one of their pupils. And they'll like sort it out for you and help you deal with it. Even if your guidance teacher isn't there, there'll always be someone there to help you with your issue or problem. Say like three or four homework tasks from different classes. And if you have any problems, you just make sure to monitor show my homework cartoons. You don't get too much homework a week and what you get it's quite easy to do and if you are stuck then you can always just ask your teacher. The advice that I would give is stay calm. You can make tons of friends from everywhere. I mean personally I was from Inverkip, I met people from Wimps Bay, Greenock, Gurok and they're all very nice people. Well just don't don't be scared. Uh, you make new pals easy, you feel welcome at Inverclyde Academy. There's nothing really to be worried about. Uh, make your first impression your best and don't mess around. Like. I would tell them not to be worried because it's quite easy to get to know the place. All the teachers are nice and welcoming. Don't hold yourself back. If you're really good at a subject, you go for it. Don't think because you're an S1, you can be belittled. Not being stuck with one teacher the whole day and going to see a uh, different classes. Well, the teachers, they make you, they make you feel welcome at Inverclyde Academy. The best thing about Inverclyde Academy is the uh, PE facilities, since there's a lot to do. Probably just the teachers, because they're a really good support. The best thing about Inverclyde Academy has got to be the pupil support. It's always there if you need it, and personally, it helped me through S1.